Do you know the 10 golden rules for staying safe at sea? Today, we're going to explore these vital guidelines that every crew member should understand and follow. These rules aren't just a matter of protocol. They're designed to prevent accidents and ensure the safety of everyone on board. We'll be talking about the power of stopping work at the first sign of danger, the precautions to take before entering an enclosed space, how to prevent falls, the importance of energy isolation, the safe ways to work over water and access vessels, staying clear of the line of fire, adhering to navigation rules, the safety measures around lifeboats, the protocols for hot work, and finally, how to minimize distractions. Each of these rules plays a crucial role in maintaining a safe environment at sea. So are you ready to delve deeper into each of these safety measures? Let's dive into each rule to understand its importance and how it ensures safety at sea. The first rule is about the power of stopping work. Imagine having the authority to halt operations when you spot something unsafe. That's right, you and your colleagues have this power. It's crucial to intervene if you observe any dangerous activity or condition. Encourage others to do the same. Embrace these interventions and express gratitude to anyone who stops you. They may have just saved your life. Then report the issue so everyone can learn from it. Remember, it's better to stop and report than to risk an accident. Next, we talk about the precautions to take before entering an enclosed space. It's crucial to only step into such a space after it's been properly ventilated and the atmosphere has been confirmed as safe. Follow permit procedures religiously, double-check testing results and familiarize yourself with the space's previous uses. Before crossing that threshold, ensure all energy sources are isolated and locked out. Always, without fail, agree on a rescue plan with your fellow crew members. Remember always ensure safety before entering any enclosed space on board. Our third rule focuses on preventing falls. To protect yourself from a fall, it's essential to conduct pre-job risk assessments. When using ladders, always maintain three points of contact. Plan your tasks with safety measures in mind, ensuring that fall arrestor equipment is in good condition and ready for use. Always be aware of your surroundings and steer clear of situations where falls could happen. Remember, your vigilance can make the difference between a typical day at sea and a disastrous one. Avoiding falls is crucial. Stay aware and stay safe. Rule 4 is all about energy isolation. When dealing with stored energy or invisible hazards such as electricity or pressure, it's essential to verify that isolation procedures are in place and have been strictly followed. We're talking about identifying every energy source, obtaining the necessary permits, and treating each source as if it's live until it's safely isolated and locked out. Remember, complacency can lead to accidents. Before you start, make sure all energy sources are safely isolated. The fifth rule pertains to working over water and accessing vessels. When it comes to safety at sea, this rule is vital. Imagine you're outside the ship rails, the sea beneath your feet. The life jacket you wear is not just a piece of equipment, but a lifeline. Planning your tasks isn't just about efficiency, it's about considering the unpredictable sea conditions and vessel movements. And let's not forget the importance of having emergency equipment within reach. Always stay prepared when working over water or accessing vessels. Rule 6 is about maintaining a safe distance from the line of fire. This means being mindful of suspended loads, stored pressure, moving machinery, and snapback areas. Picture a crane moving a heavy load, or the tension in a mooring line. These are situations where, if something goes wrong, you don't want to be in the direct path or line of fire. It's crucial to be alert, use designated walkways, and understand where exclusion zones are. Stay alert, and maintain a safe distance from potential hazards. Our seventh rule is about navigation. Now the open sea is not a place for guesswork. It's vital to adhere to collision regulations and supplement navigation aids with visual checks. Don't just rely on your instruments, your eyes and ears are equally important. Follow your passage plans diligently and avoid distractions while on watch. A clear mind and focus can be your best friends at sea. Remember it's not just about reaching your destination but also about maintaining a safe distance from land and shallow waters. Ensure safe navigation by staying focused and following regulations. Rule 8 is about lifeboat safety. Lifeboats are your lifeline at sea, but they can pose risks if not handled properly. During maintenance and testing, secure the boat before entering. Involve trained personnel in every step of the process. Conducting toolbox talks is a great way to ensure everyone understands their role. Remove winch handles before launching to avoid accidents. And remember, proper supervision is key. These measures aren't just about ticking off safety boxes, they're about ensuring everyone's safety during lifeboat operations. 
The ninth rule is about working safely with flames or sparks. It's absolutely crucial to make sure your workspace is free of flammable materials and gases before you start. If a spark lands on a flammable material, it could ignite and cause a fire. So clear the area, have firefighting equipment on standby and test for gas presence. Complete a thorough risk assessment and if possible consider alternative methods that don't involve flames or sparks. Always ensure your safety before starting any hot work. The final rule is about minimizing distractions. On board, maintaining a laser-sharp focus on your safety duties is paramount. Distractions can come in many forms from cell phones to laptops to tablets. It's crucial to avoid these during your duty hours. Plan your tasks strategically to prevent conflicting activities that could split your attention. Maintain a professional work environment that promotes concentration. Regular breaks, particularly during repetitive tasks, can also help to keep your mind sharp. Stay focused on your duties and avoid unnecessary distractions. So, those were the 10 golden rules for staying safe at sea. From stopping work when you see an unsafe condition, to ensuring you're not distracted while performing your duties, each principle plays a crucial role in maintaining safety on board. Entering enclosed spaces requires meticulous preparation, including ventilation and energy isolation. Fall prevention and working over water remind us of the importance of planning and awareness of our surroundings. And let's not forget the line of fire rule which emphasizes a safe distance from hazards. Navigating with care and rest, maintaining lifeboats and controlling hot work are equally vital in mitigating risks. Each rule is a cog in the machinery of safety, and missing even one can lead to accidents. These golden rules are not merely guidelines but a commitment to safety, a promise to yourself and your colleagues. Remember, safety first, it's not just a saying, it's a way of life at sea. Thank you for watching and I wish you a bon voyage and safe travels. I hope you found this information helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, take care and have a great journey.